Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1965 problem number 1. The problem was proposed by Yugoslavia. We wish to find all numbers t between 0 and 2 pi, satisfying this inequality. 2 cosine of t is less than or equal the absolute value of square root of 1 plus sine of 2 times t minus square root of 1 minus sine of 2 times t close the absolute value, which should be also less than or equal square root of 2. So it's a nice problem for trigonometry, not terribly difficult, here are my hints. First, this general algebraic fact, if a and b are non-negative numbers, then a is less than or equal b, if and only if a squared is less than or equal b squared, but it only works when a and b are non-negative numbers. First, start with the second inequality, as it is easier, and consider taking squares on both sides. Mm -hmm. And for the other inequality, you may wish to consider separately, first, case when t is between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, and second, when t is between 0 and pi over 2, or is between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. And consider then two more sub more subcases. For, for the second case, consider subcases. t is between 0 and pi over 4, or between 7 pi over 4 to 2 pi. And second subcase, between pi over 4 and pi over 2, or between 3 pi over 2 and 7 pi over 4. And these two trigonometric identities may be very useful. 2 cosine squared of alpha minus 1 equals cosine of 2 times alpha, and cosine squared plus sine squared is always one. So I'll give this problem a try, and I will give I and I will see you in just a minute. Right. So so let's let's enumerate our inequalities. Here is inequality number one, inequality number two. Let's start with inequality number two. It's easier as a warm up. Well, we have this inequality. And now, since both sides are non-negative, we can safely take both sides to the second power. And we'll get the following. And notice that uh, we can actually change the absolute value to just parentheses because we are dealing with real numbers. And now, let's take uh, the square on the left-hand side. We'll get 1 plus sine of 2 times t minus 2 times square root of 1 plus sine of 2 times t, 1 minus sine of 2 times t. Right? Plus 1 minus sine of 2 times t is less than or equal to 2. And now we have a bunch of, a bunch of cancellations going on. Sine of 2t minus sine of 2t. 1, 1, 2. Gone. And we can also divide by minus 2 and we'll get the following. Square root of 1 minus sine squared of 2 times t greater than or equal 0. Greater than or equal 0 because we are dividing by minus 2. Notice that this is obviously true. Obviously true for any real number t. It's obviously true because square root of anything is greater than or equal 0, always. So nothing special here. So let's tackle our second inequality. Inequality, actually number 1. So now we wish to solve uh, this should be greater than or equal 2 times cosine of t. And to solve it, I will consider two cases. Case number 1. Case number 1, when our argument t is between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Well, notice that then we have the following 
Mm. Well, we are in the second or the third quadrant, so cosine is less than zero, and zero is obviously less than or equal this square root. So it is also true. Any every p in this interval satisfies our inequality. No problem there. Second case, case number two. Case number two, when t is from zero to pi over two, or from three pi over two to two pi. First, the first or the fourth quadrant. Then what can we do? Then cosine of t is greater than or equal zero. So we can take square root. Is uh, we can square both sides. We can square both sides of our inequality. And what do we have then? Well, on the left hand side, we'll have two cosine of t squared less than or equal this thing squared. All right, but this expression here we have four cosine squared of t and the expression on the right hand side, it actually appeared before it's two minus two square root of one minus sine squared of two times t. Very well. Now I can divide by two. I can put, I will put two cosine squared of t minus one on the left hand side and on the, on the right hand side we'll have square root of one minus sine squared of two times t. And now using well-known identities, uh, the left hand side can be replaced by cosine of two times t, while the right hand side, and also one minus is missing, minus is missing. The right hand side can be replaced by cosine squared of two times t. So we get cosine of two t is less than or equal, well, minus the absolute value of cosine of two times t. And now I wish to consider uh, more subcases. Also, let's maybe, yes. Case 2.0, uh, 2.1, because we are in the second case, so it's case subcase 2.1, <laughs> when, when our variable t is between 0 pi over 4 union 7 pi over 4 2 pi. Well notice that then 2 times t is in the first or in the fourth quadrant. 7 pi over 4 is it right? Seven pi over two, is it right? Hmm. It is right. Yes, it is right. Notice that also one more thing. The second interval can be written as uh, two pi plus uh, three pi over four. 2 pi plus 2 pi. Our function is periodic. So, which means that cosine of 2 times t, because we are either in the first or fourth quadrant uh, shifted by 2 pi, so our cosine is greater than or equal 0. And we have the following. Maybe let's mark this inequality by asterisk. Asterisk becomes becomes
Well, cosine of 2 times t is less than or equal minus cosine of 2 times t. So 2 times cosine of 2t less than or equal 0. Well, it can happen. Maybe, you know what, maybe let's call, let's consider, let's consider taking here open intervals. It will be maybe easier. And notice that, uh, well, this cannot happen because our function is actually positive on these intervals. So here we have contradiction. Contradiction, because cosine of 2t is strictly greater than 0. So no solutions there. Case 2.2, .2, the final case, when t is either in the interval pi over 4, pi over 2, this time closed on both sides, and also I need a new page. Right. Or our argument is in the interval uh, 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4. Well, then 2 times t is in the pi over 2 pi, or it is in the interval 3 pi, 7 pi over 2, but the second interval. It's just the same as 2 pi plus pi, 2 pi plus 3 pi over 2. So we are either in the second or third quadrant, which means that our cosine, this time, cosine t is less than or equal 0. And our, our inequality asterisk becomes the following on the left hand side we have cosine of 2 times t and on the right hand side we have minus the absolute value of cosine 2t so it's minus minus cosine of 2 times t so we get 0 less than or equal 0 well every 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 t from the interval pi over 2, pi over 4 rather, pi over 4, pi over 2, union 3 pi over 4, 3 pi over 2, sorry, 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4, satisfies this inequality. So all in all, let's combine it everything together. Uh, let's go back from the, from case number one. From case number one, we know that every t in this interval satisfies our inequality. From case 2.1, we have no solutions. And from case 2.2, .2, we have this solutions, this solution. Very well, which all in all, our solutions, our solutions, t is actually in the interval pi over 4 to 7 pi over 4 in this interval. So that is our solution set. And also, as a small addendum to this video, I'd like to show you the graph of our functions. I have prepared it in advance. So what you see here is, uh, well, this yellow line is the middle term. So it's, so it's actually, this yellow line is y equals the absolute value of square roots and so on. This uh, pink line is y equals square root of 2. This blue line is 2 cosine of t. And as we have established, our graph, yellow graph, is always below this pink line. And also, our graph, yellow graph, is be below our blue graph, on which parts? Well, 
is this part this part right here up to this point here here is pi over 2 here is 3 pi over 2 and here in the middle is 7 pi over 4 and here in the middle is pi over 4 exactly what we have demonstrated and yes and that closes our problem our solution set close interval pi over 4 7 pi over sorry about that 7 pi over 4 obviously 7 pi over 4 sorry about that and that closes our problem so thank you very much for watching i hope that you've learned something new this time and i will see you next time goodbye